What's up everybody? It is Monday, which means it is time for photo assignments. If you are new to the show, you don't know what photo assignments are, I will put a link to a playlist up here. But essentially, these are these bi-weekly challenges that we are doing to hopefully improve our creative thinking skills as well as our skills as photographers. And we've been on this two-week cycle and I give the theme of what we're going to do. And I pick some of the best images that are shared on social media and I share those with you here on the show. I've had a lot of people talk about the fact that that two-week window is a little tight for them and they're schedule. So this week, I promised that I would go ahead and do a recap of some late submissions from the first four photo assignments. So we started out with the variations assignment, and then we moved into camera angles. So we started with low, cam low angle shooting, medium or eye level shooting, and then high level shooting. And so I think it'll be pretty self-explanatory as to what each of these images are. So let's go ahead and roll them. These are the late submissions for the first four photo assignments. I want to congratulate all of you once again on another excellent group of submissions. I'm really excited and happy with the way photo assignments are going. We are on photo assignment number five now, and this has kind of become a thing. And so what I want to do in this video is address some of the questions that you guys have had from me on this. And first of all, I want to talk a little bit about the criteria that I think is really important for photo assignments. And the first two things we did were we put together a journal or kind of a sketchbook, and then we also did one on variations. Now these two are the hardest because they're time consuming. It takes time to print your work and put it in a journal and make notes and really look at it like that. But you've probably noticed already that if there are any submissions of just an iPhone shot of your journal, generally I stick them in the slideshow because that's really important. And it's important to be able to understand that in doing your work moving forward. We don't always have time to do it, but I want to reward people who are taking the time to do it because it is really important. The other thing I want to note is the variations element. And the first assignment that we did was basically variations and shooting. And the whole idea is that if you are going to shoot something, you're going to exhaust all your regular ideas within the first 10 different variations that you do. And then you're really in uncharted territory, pushing yourself. We talked about giving ourselves permission to fail and, and really seeing what those variations can be. I haven't seen a lot of variations since, and in all fairness, I really haven't asked for them. Uh, this week, I had one submission on variations, which was kind of a weather of a landscape uh, variations. And it was really cool. And there's only six of them, so I'm assuming the best were picked. But I really like to see that too. And that's an important one also. And I know those are more difficult, but they really are important if you want to challenge yourself. And so I am going to do more assignments in the future that will incorporate variations somehow. So just know that's coming. So I would really recommend when you guys are shooting to do that. And also consider continuing with the sketchbook. I think that's important too. So that's one thing I want to talk about. The other thing, and I'm going to put this up later this week, and I'm just going to tell you about it because I don't want you to freak out thinking it's an old new video or something weird. But um, I have got a need right now because we've got a lot of new people who have come to the show since we started photo assignments, which was really kind of last fall when we started talking about it. And so right now I usually send people over to a playlist, which is cool, but there's a lot of videos in the playlist all of a sudden. So what I'm going to do now is I need to do a video that just talks about an overview of what photo assignments are, how you can get involved, how you post on social, all that kind of a frequently asked questions thing. So I'm going to record that this week and I'll put that up later this week. So just know that's coming and it's just a little prompt 
promo for photo assignments. And then finally, I want to talk about the next photo assignment because there were a lot of questions on here. And our next theme is simply called Red. And this was something I wanted to do that would just kind of be fun, hopefully, and would allow a lot of room for you guys to interpret what red means. I mean, the most obvious is the color. Um, I had questions for people to say, well, I shoot black and white film, so what am I supposed to do with that? Well, that is going to be the challenge. And there's a lot you can do with it. I think if you're not going to use color film, obviously, the theme of red is going to require that you do something relatively conceptual. And I've seen some entries already that have been thinking in this direction. So there's a lot you can do with it. And I would encourage you guys to push yourselves on this a little bit because it's, it's kind of wide open. It's just a one word and it happens to be a color theme. But let me tell you what I really am not crazy about, and this is just my personal opinion, but you know when people do the images and they make the whole thing black and white except like one thing that's in color and it happens to be red? A little too obvious. And so I thought I'd come clean with that early and just push a little harder than that. Um, there haven't been a whole lot of that kind of submission, but I want you guys to think and think artistically. And, you know, the way we're doing these is kind of in this two-week cycle, so I will put together a video talking about conceptual thinking and this whole notion of red and I'll have some examples in that and I'm working on that right now and that'll be coming out next Monday. So from today, there are two weeks before I will do uh, the video on viewer submissions. And just so you guys know, I usually put those together on the weekend and so usually a Saturday, Sunday thing. So you want to have your images in kind of before Sunday, you know, otherwise it's really hard for me to get them in because it does take a long time for me to do these and get the names in them and all that. So I need a full day on the weekend to do that. So anyway, we're moving forward on that. Um, and then finally, Finally, the last thing I want to talk about is a lot of people have said, can you be more specific with deadlines? And I, I hesitate to do that because, and maybe I just need to clarify a little better, but the whole idea of doing these photo assignments is that they're ongoing. This isn't a college course. I don't critique necessarily. Um, that's not what this is. These are challenges that you guys can do and you can pick them up at any time. And that's the important part. If you discover these like, you know, a year after they've been posted, I want you to feel like you should still be able to do them. So I think doing these recap episodes every so often and allowing time for later submissions or maybe you have an older photo assignment that just is interesting to you that you want to do, then we can just do it that way. So I hope that makes sense. I would love to hear your thoughts and your feedback on this as well. And this is important that, you know, we get something that everybody's very comfortable with. And I think we have. I'm really excited about the direction this is going. But if you have any suggestions, please leave me a comment and I will address them as such. Once again, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it, subscribe to The Art of Photography. I'm going to point you back to some older videos for other photo assignments here. So if you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about, I would suggest checking these out. Until the next one, I'll see you guys then. Later.